So welcome, we'll start sitting upright today. Find any comfortable upright position and settle in. Arrange the legs the way that you would like them to be arranged. Close your eyes if you wish. Tune in to the rhythm of the breath. And as you breathe, take a generous breath in and pause at the very top of the breath. Through the mouth, let it go. Take another breath in, generous inhale, pause at the top. And let it go. One more time, deepest breath yet, pause at the top. Hold it right there, sip in a little bit more breath. Through the mouth, let it go. Now normal breathing in and out. In and out through the nose. Stay right there, tracking the rhythm of the breath. And now gently Lower the chin slightly and then start to make with your chin circles in the air. Circle your chin out to the side. Take your chin up to the sky, around, all the way. and then circle in the other direction. You're in charge of the size of the circles. And again. Come to center, and now sit tall and lower the shoulders. Take the right hand to the right temple. So as you sit tall, think of the crown of the head rising up, the shoulders melting down, and three times we'll resist and release. So as you exhale, press the head into the hand, the hand into the head, activating the muscles. Inhale, relax the effort, keep the hand there. Exhale, resist, keep the head completely upright. Yeah, that's it. Inhale, release. So even though you're pressing, the head doesn't move. Exhale, resist. And then release. Change hands. Place the Left hand to the head, sitting up tall, crown of the head lengthening up, chin is level. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, lengthen. Breathing out, resist. Breathing in, lengthen. 
Breathing out, resist. Release the hands. Roll your shoulders. So when I came home from Christine's class just now at the park, I grabbed one of my um, outside yoga mats, and it's thrown down on the floor just, just off screen. Spirit has decided that it makes a really nice bed. <laughs> So she's nestled in the folds of my messy mat, and she's watching the birds eating the seeds that the squirrel was eating yesterday. So that's a good time for everybody. And sit tall, tilt your head over to the right. Stay there. Place your left hand on your head. So now we'll resist and move at the same time. So sit tall first and try to move not the whole spine, but just the head and the neck, resisting into your hand as the head comes to upright. So the muscles on the side of the neck are engaged. Then go as far over to the other side as you want, just with the head and the neck. Don't tip over with the whole spine. Yeah, good. And then leave your head there, switch hands. And before moving to the other side, Anchor your seat, zip up your belly, make sure your spine is long and neutral, and it's just the head now resisting into the hand. All the way over to whatever your all the way position is, and then release. Bring your head back to center. Again, sit tall, lower the shoulders, look over your right shoulder, Use your left hand on the temple. Sit tall, lower the shoulders, and slowly turn just the head and the neck, not the chest and not the shoulders. We'll do that in just a little bit. And then release the hand and change sides. Sit tall, lower the shoulders, and resist as your head turns back to the right. Chest faces forward the whole time, just the head, the neck, and whatever the arm needs to do to stay with it. Release. Come back to center. Look down to your left armpit. Place your right hand on your temple. Again, root down, sit tall, and this time we'll look on a diagonal up and to the right. Keep sweeping up and right, and up and right, and up and right. And when you're all the way up and right, stay there, change hands. Go down and left, and down and left, and down and left until you're looking back at the armpit, then release the arms, bring the head upright, and look to the right armpit. Left hand on the head, and slowly sweep on the diagonal. Anchor your seat, zip up your belly. The head goes up and left, and up and left. When you're all the way, stay there, switch hands down and right, down and right, and down and right, release, return to center, last direction of movement, the chin goes down toward the chest, one or both hands behind the head, anchor your seat, zip up your belly, lower your shoulders, now slowly resist the head into the hands as the head comes to upright. You decide how far back the head goes, pressing into the hands, and then slowly come back the other way. Slowly the chin comes down again. Stay right there, release the hands, keep the chin down to the chest, and now do that same movement without any resistance, hands free. 
lift the head. And you might imagine you're pressing the back of the head into some resistance. And slowly lower the chin. Now let's invite the shoulders to, and the chest to come into the movement. So as you lift the chin, lift the chest, melt the shoulders back. And then as the chin comes forward and the chin goes down, let the shoulders roll forward. The upper back starts to round. And then as you lift again, invite a little more of your spine into the back bend all the way down to the bottom of your rib cage. Exhale, rounding, shoulders roll forward, belly draws in. Inhaling, lift the heart, lift the chin, melt the shoulders. Exhale, pull the navel in as you round the entire spine. You might even squeeze your glutes and tuck your tail under. And then Inhale the whole length of the spine. You might even tilt the pelvis forward a touch. Just like that, move along the entire length of your spine, rocking on your sitting bones, rocking to the front as you back bend, rocking to the back of the sitting bones as you round. One more time each direction. Come to center, to upright. Take a moment to change the cross of your legs. Oh, hello, kitty. And as you come in the other, with the other cross, now let's roll the ribs. Go out to the side and around. Take your time with the movement. Go the other way. All the way around. And back to center. Take the right hand off to the side, the left hand behind the head. Now, the whole spine getting into the side bend. Take a few breaths here. Keep the hand behind the head because we'll, we'll add a little twisting. So pull the belly button in and bring your elbow to your right knee, toward the knee. Doesn't matter if it touches. Inhale and open up. You can feel free to turn your chest up to the sky, look up to the sky if that feels good. And then draw the navel in and elbow to the knee. Inhale, spin the chest and the gaze upward. Just like that, exhale, draw the navel in. Inhale, open up. One more time, draw the navel in, rounding. Open up. Now come into the side stretch, the side bend. And if you like, reach the top arm up and over. Breathe while you're here. To change sides, we're going to take a very slow swirl. <laughs> I don't know, swirl. A slow roll. So start to come forward. Zip up the belly. Let your back round. Let your neck relax. You can walk your fingertips around if that feels comfortable. The hands don't have to touch the floor. But you're going to come around the center, round the back. Zip up the belly. Start to head over to one side. And then when you get kind of close to the other side, open up, place the right hand behind the head. Anchor your seat, breathe here. And breathe especially into the, the fanning open ribs on your right side. 
Now let's add a little movement. Exhale, pull the belly button in, elbow to knee. Inhale, open up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open up. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open up. Let's do it again. Open up, stay open here. Extend the top arm if you like. Breathe. Root down again into your seat. So you keep this sense of, of being connected to your foundation, connected to the earth. That's it, that's it. And to come out, we're going to swoop around to the other side first, just so we've traveled in both directions, just to be even about our, our movement here. Round and pull the navel in, head over slowly, take your time. Once you're all the way over on the right, reach both arms up overhead, inhale. Cactus arms on the exhale, turn the palms to face forward. Bring the forearms together, palms face you. Open the arms out wide, give the, like press back, like you've got a wall behind you and you're trying to press the backs of your hands and the elbows into that wall. You should feel a little squeeze in, the, in between the shoulder blades. Yeah, that's it. And then come around the front, Palms face you. Lift up, lift the chest, the forearms, the gaze. Come back. Open up into cactus arms again. Squeeze and press back behind you. Uh huh. And then around the front, forearms come close, palms face you. Up to the sky. Back down, last time open up into cactus arms, give the forearms and elbows a little, oh, pressing back, opening up the front of the chest. And then release completely the arms, roll your shoulders up and back, down and around. Roll the other way. Nice, arms overhead, inhale. This time, as we do cactus arms, twist to your right. Come back to center, reach up overhead. Cactus arm twist left. Back to center, inhale, reach up. Cactus arm twist right. Back to center, reach up. Cactus arm twist left. Back to center, reach up. And when you go to the right, stay there. Sit really tall and lower your arms. Root down into your seat. Lengthen the top of your head upward and let your shoulders release downward. Look as far over your shoulder as you like in the direction of the twist. Maybe your left shoulder blade is giving you a little nudge, too, in the direction of the twist. Breathe here. Unwind gently. Come to center. Inhale, raise both arms overhead. Exhale, cactus arm twist, stay in the twist, lower the arms all the way, and we linger in the twist. Root down into your seat, lengthen the crown of the head up, let the shoulders melt, breathe, looking over your shoulder any amount in the direction of the twist. Breathing in. Breathing out. 
breathing in, breathing out. Take a couple more breaths right here. And gently unwind. Come to center on an inhale, reach up. Palms touch, exhale, hands to your heart. Ah, release the arms and Let's come onto our backs. Swing your legs around. Hug your knees to your chest. Rock side to side. So as you lie down and find your, find your spot, find your ground, drop the knees in and rock. You can hold on to the knees lightly. See if the head would like to rock a little too. Now, from here, take the feet down flat to the mat. Let's focus the movement on the pelvis and the low back for, for just a moment here. Exhale, pull your belly button down. Press your low back into the mat. Inhale and relax into a neutral spine. Exhale, pull the navel down. Press the low back into the mat. And inhale to a neutral spine. Continue to do that. Notice if your shoulders and neck tighten when your abs and your glutes are tightening. Maybe the neck and shoulders can do a little less, leaving the lower body to do more. Now back to neutral. Imagine our pelvic clock, that clock dial on the back of the pelvis and the sacrum. And we'll rock from 3 to 9 o'clock, right through the center of the dial, pressing the low back, and then over to the other side, right across the center of the dial, over to one side. The knees move slightly, but compared to our normal windshield wipers, it's much less movement in the knees. The focus is on the action in the abdomen, the muscles around the sides of the waist, the movement of the pelvis. And now lastly, let's make circles with the pelvis. So circles around your pelvic clock dial, press 12 o'clock into the mat, that's equivalent to your low back pressing down. And then slowly press where your one o'clock would be, the two, the three, you're over on the side, four, five, and six, down to the tailbone, seven, eight, nine, coming around the side, 10, 11, and we're back at 12, low back is pressing. All the way around, don't miss any number, don't stop on any number, keep sweeping like a second hand, all the way around the dial. The next time you're at 12, Pause and reverse it. You can always change the size of your clock dial so that it, it's interesting to you, right? Sometimes we'll hit a tender spot, make a little detour, or sometimes it just feels like we want to move a little more or less. And come on back to center. Settle here. From here, bring the knees, bring both knees into the chest. Rock a little side to side. Take the left leg up in the air. Keep the right knee hugged into the chest. 
So you're clasping the right shin or behind the thigh as the left leg starts to lower toward the mat. Let it come down nice and slowly until the heel lightly touches. If the heel doesn't touch, let the knee go a little bit so you've got some room there. Breathe here. Keep the bottom leg nice and long. There's a little bit of energy reaching down through it. And circle the right knee around. Take the knee over to the right. Breathe while you're here. Bring the knee to center. Change hands. Left hand takes the knee. Turn this into a twist. Rock a little. And each time you're rocking, bring the knee a little further over. The bottom leg will move as well until you're all the way over in your twist, wherever all the way is for today. The other arm, maybe it reaches out. See what angle feels interesting today. Breathe here. Maybe there's a, a pectoral muscle stretch in the upper right chest. Maybe there's something else that you notice, some other sensation. Breathe into that sensation. Where is it in the body? What do you feel right now? Take another breath or two right here. Exhale, come on back to center. Bend the knees, place the feet flat. And bring the left knee into the chest. Step on the ceiling with the right leg. Slowly lower the right leg. Take your time. Let this be a moment of ab work. Lightly touch the heel down on the mat while still hugging the left knee in. Breathe here. Stay, check in with the back of your neck here and your shoulders. Let the shoulders come down and give the back of your neck a lot of space. Now use your left hand, bring the knee over to the left side. Hello, baby. Not you guys, this little baby. <laughs> little kitty baby. And when you're ready, bring the knee back to center, change hands. Right hand takes the knee, left arm out at any angle. Start to rock your way into a twist. Take a few rocks to get there. We're easing the body into the spinal twist. Breathe, 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 breathe. The whole lower body is going to the right, the bottom leg included. Chest and shoulders spinning up to the sky. If, if it's comfortable, you can look over toward your left hand or look more up to the ceiling, kind of anywhere in that quadrant works. Breathing in, breathing out. And exhale, come on back to center. Bring the left knee in, bring the right knee in. Rock a little side to side. Let's take happy baby. Hands on either, either behind the thighs or walk the hands up toward the shins or hold the feet. Now, how do you know where to place the hands? Listen to your neck and notice where your head is. So here's what happens some of the time, and this is really what to watch out for. Sometimes we see someone doing happy baby. The teacher says, oh, grab your feet if you can. You're like, hey, I can grab my feet. And you grab your feet, but your head is up off the floor and your back of your neck is all scrunched up. And so if this is your happy baby, the way I'm doing it right now with your neck all scrunched and your head off the floor, please don't do that. 
move your hands down so your shoulders can come down and your neck can be long. And now, once you've got that length and that freedom in the neck, where do the hands reach? And they may or may not reach the feet. It's not like there's some prize if you reach your feet. We sometimes act like there is in yoga, but there is not. Rock a little side to side. The real prize is, is taking care of yourself and tuning in and listening and unwinding. Not using our yoga to punish ourselves. All right, come on back to center. And let's rock over to one side. Pick a side, any side. And you can choose. You might stack your knees or you can bend your top knee, rest the shin on the floor and stretch the bottom leg out. We're gonna do bow and arrow with the arms. So support your head with either your own arm or a pillow. Reach your top arm out in front of you. And for this first um, movement, we'll walk the hand like way out, like how far can you reach? Let your chest roll toward the floor. Let your shoulder blades spread wide. And pull back. Now your shoulders are stacked. And if you don't have, have a kitty flopping down on you, you're going to pull your arm back like you're drawing a bow and arrow. Open up the arm behind you. And then come back the same way you came. Bend the elbow and reach out on the floor. Take that extra moment to get length and space. And then pull back. Open up. And let's do that again. Reach out. And bow and arrow start to pull back. Open, 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 open. Stay there this time. Take a few breaths in your twist. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Gently bend the knees and roll on to your back. Change sides. As you come over to the other side, same thing. Whichever way the legs were on side one, do that on side two. And with the top arm, Reach way out. Let the chest spin toward the floor. It might be a little boob squishing. Sorry about that. And then start to roll on to your side. Bend the elbow and open up behind you. We're opening up the thoracic spine gently. And come back. Reach out in front of you. And then pull back. And one more time. Reach out, lengthen, broaden, pull back, open up. And then linger in your twist. Feel free to reposition your head, open the arms out wide if you want. Just see what works. See what this side says yes to. And breathe. Most of all, breathe. When you're ready, Rock over to your side again, bend the knees, and press the floor away. Find your way to tabletop, hands and knees. Breathe while you're here. Exhale, go right into cat-cow. Exhale, press the floor away. Lift the navel up. Inhale, 
Find your back bend. Exhale, press the floor away. Inhale, find your back bend. Just like that. Come to a neutral spine. Press your right hand down and open up in a twist. The left arm up to the sky. Mm -hmm. Now come down, place the left hand down and open up the other way. Come back to center. One more time each side, open up. Really spread wide. And touch down, open to the second side. Breathe, shoulders drop down away from the ears, arms spread wide, and touch the feet, or the hands down, leave your feet alone. Walk your hands forward and shift your hips forward like a knee push up, then slowly lower yourself onto your mat. Once you're down there, Hands on the mat, uncurl your toes, zip up your belly, press your pubic bone down. And as you inhale, peel yourself up into cobra. And as you exhale, unpeel yourself, curl back down. Just like that. Keep your abs on, keep your legs active the whole time. As you peel up any amount, and then get really long, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. One more time. Peeling up. Now while you're peeled up this time, shrug one shoulder forward. Oh, how's that feel? And twist a little to the, yeah, like right shoulder comes forward a little, twist to the left. Come back to center. Let the left shoulder shrug a little bit and twist to your right. Oh, hello. Come on back to center and lower all the way down. Tuck your toes underneath. Hand, palms are on the mat alongside your chest. And we're ready to come up in a knee push-up. Zip up the belly. Engage your glutes. And press the floor away. Now, child's pose. And sending blessings to the uh, wherever the the fire truck was headed. There, there's a siren in the background. Breathe there. Inhaling and exhaling. Child's pose. Arms where you like. They can stretch out straight or be bent. And slowly roll yourself to hands and knees. From hands and knees, take your toes, tuck them under, lift your knees and hips, downward facing dog. Kind of taking it low and slow today. So from your downward facing dog, pedal your feet. This is our first down dog today. Pedal your feet, stretch into the back of one leg, feel that stretch. Stretch into the back of the other leg. Feel that stretch. Come on up to your tiptoes on both feet. And slowly lower your heels down toward the mat. Breathing in. Breathing out. From here... Raise the right leg behind you. Exhale, pull the knee in and shift forward into the top of a push-up. Take the leg up and back behind you, down dog. And then pull the knee in in a push-up again. This next time we'll step through. So leg goes up and back. And then step it through. If it gets stuck, it's not a problem. You can walk it forward. You can help it forward. You can even bring the back knee down. 
And uh, if your back knee was down for the transition, lift it up now and breathe. And breathe and breathe and breathe. Leave the left hand down. Take the right hand to the right thigh and twist to the right. You might leave the hand on the thigh. You might reach the arm up in the air. Definitely breathe. Long spine. Hmm. And then bring your right hand on the inside of your foot. Twist the other way. Use your arm and shin pressing against each other to give you a little leverage in the twist. That's it, that's it. Breathe here. And then unwind. Take the hand back outside the foot. Step your right foot back. Find down dog. Breathe here. Shift forward to plank. Breathe here, lower slowly onto your belly. Breathe here, uncurl your toes, cobra pose. Inhale, zipped up belly, peeling the heart up, lengthening it down. Tuck the toes underneath, come up in a knee push-up or regular push-up if you want. Lift the knees and hips, downward facing dog. When you're ready, take the left leg up and back behind you. Breathe. Draw the knee into the chest in a push-up. Left leg goes up and back, inhale. Knee to chest in a push-up. This next time we'll step all the way through. Left foot comes through. If it gets stuck, no problem. Help it, walk it, get there by any means necessary. The right hand stays on the mat. Left hand comes to the thigh. Twist toward the bent knee. Breathe. Yeah, we're going to go to both sides. So first twist toward your bent knee and open up. Now we'll twist to the other side. Bring the left hand inside the foot and open up. Breathe while you're here. Exhale, bring the hand down. Bring your hands to their appropriate side of the foot. Step your leg back and down dog. Shift forward to plank. Lower slowly all the way down to your mat. Uncurl the toes. Inhale, peel your heart forward. Exhale, lengthen down long. Press up, knee push up. And lift the knees downward facing dog. Take a few breaths in your down dog. Walk your hands and feet together so you're standing folded over your toes. Breathe while you're here. Slowly press into your feet, press into your heels, zip up your belly. Ease your way to standing. Once you're standing all the way upright, ah, 
all welcome. <laughs> Root down into your feet. And let's make circles with the hips so your knees can bend here. Good, go the other way. Come to neutral, root down again into the feet, zip up the belly. Inhale, lift the heart out and up. Exhale, slowly lower, all the way down, all the way down. Halfway up, take a breath in. And fold down again. Press down to rise up. Inhale. Hands to the heart. Exhale. Release the arms, inhale, both arms go up overhead. This time, take hold of your left arm. I know you guys can't see my left arm, but you're gonna see the way I'm going. Up and over to the right. Nice long side bend. Root down into your feet, lift your navel. Relax your neck a bit. Breathe, keep the side bend. Pull the navel in and turn your chest down toward the floor. What is that like? And then slowly turn your chest to face forward. We are back in our side bend. And then inhale, come on up. Both arms down, exhale. Before we change sides, take your shoulders and your elbows up and back, down and around. One more time. And now both arms up overhead. Inhale. Root down, up and over. Breathe while you're here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Root down into the feet. Zip up the belly. Relax the neck. Now, zip up the belly a little extra as you round the back and turn your chest and gaze toward the floor. Unwind, press down, rise up. Inhale and exhale, release the arms. Shoulders lift, elbows lift. Wrists up high and then let it all go. Shoulders, then elbows, then wrists. Exhale, the arms come down. One more time. Shoulders, elbows, wrists. Exhale, let it go. Step the feet wide. Let's do one more twist. Slide the hands down the legs, bend the knees as much as needed so you can take your fingertips to the mat or to the floor. Place your hands kind of underneath the shoulders and get as long a spine as you can. Hi, baby. And then place your Right hand underneath the chest or the face, so it's more at center. Place your left hand on your hip, unless the cat's biting it. And then take your left arm to the sky. Breathe. Spread your wings. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath here. And gently come back to center. Change the hands. And press down with the hand. Reach up with the other arm. 
Plant the feet, zip up the belly, turn your chest. Back of the neck is nice and long. Shoulders move away from the ears. Take another breath here. And take your time unwinding. Come into a forward bend. Knees can bend any amount. Let yourself hang here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> My hair just became a cat toy. <laughs> All right, from whatever position you're in, while I extract my, my hair from the cat, you're going to sit down slowly. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, are you stuck? Here we go. All right, unwind. <laughs> unwind, sit tall. Bring the soles of your feet together. Soles of the feet together. Make, let your feet be further ahead. Like we're not trying to pin ourselves in. Sometimes we do. There's nothing wrong with that. But for our purposes at the moment, let your feet be a little further out. Breathe here. And then hinge forward. And breathe. Lengthen the spine. How long can you be as you're tilted forward? And can you let your pelvis tilt as well? So it's like your sitting bones are, are going, are tipping up behind you. Breathing in, breathing out. Your head and neck can be wherever they're comfortable. Your arms can be where they're comfortable. You rest the forearms on the on the legs or out in front of you. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly, gently walk the hands in. Take the knees and fold them in. Stretch the legs out and give your legs a little swing. And let's take, let's take our hip stretch. We did a lot down low to start. So maybe let's do our hip stretch seated. Now you can always lie on your back and do thread the needle. Completely fine. I'm just going to show this as, a, as another option. We'll cross the right ankle over the left thigh. You'll let yourself lean back so that you can bend the other knee and place your left foot on the mat. So your ankles crossed over. So the legs look like they would if we were, right, if we were lying down, this would look very familiar, right? We'd be on our backs doing that. So you can always do that if you wish. Now in this position, we get more of the hip stretch, generally speaking, when we sit a little taller, walk the foot in, bring the chest in, so we're kind of closing the distance. The closer the chest gets to the legs, usually the more we'll feel the stretch in the outer right hip. Take a few breaths here. Lengthen your exhale. Now keep the same leg crossed over, it's just for a little variety, and stretch the bottom leg out. So stretch your left leg out so your leg is crossed over. And then start to come forward while your leg is crossed over. Just see, just see what it's like in there. We won't be here long, just a little bit of variety.
when you're ready. Walk your hands up. Change legs. Left leg crosses over, lean back, pull the bottom foot in, find your hip stretch. So you may be closer or further away from your legs. Listen for that, that outer hip stretch. On the side of the crossed over leg, right? Breathe here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Dropping into the body by way of the breath. And what's it like now? What's it like now? Take a couple more breaths here. And then come to upright, stretch the bottom leg out and turn this into a forward bend. Coming forward any amount, listen to your body. If there's a lot of strong sensation somewhere, honor that. Honor those edges. Breathe. This isn't a performance. This is your own self-care practice your own practice for reuniting mind, body, and spirit. Take a couple more breaths. And then taking your time slowly, gently. Ease your way up, uncross the legs, lie down on your back and rock. Rock a little side to side and check in, check in with your body. Is there any last way of moving that it would appreciate right now? Maybe this is a good time for a happy baby or some kind of twist or maybe windshield wipers, maybe something else. Just see. And when you're ready, and take your time. If you're in the middle of, of a twist or something else with two sides, finish out. Give yourself equal time on each side. When you are ready, stretch out into your Shavasana. See that your body is comfortable in the, the position that you've chosen. Take a breath in and squeeze every single muscle. Let it go. And do that again. Inhale, squeeze everything. Mm. 
and let it go. Inhale, squeeze everything. And let it go. the feet and the calves, the thigh muscles lengthen, let the gluteal muscles relax, allow the breath to flow gently in and out. Let the hands, the arms, and the shoulders rest. Let the back body uncoil and relax. muscles rest.
start to deepen the breath. Stretch the whole body out long. Draw one knee slowly in and then the other. Rock gently side to side. Come over to one side and pause. And press up to seated. Take your time. As you find your way to upright, sit tall. Bring your hands right over the heart center for a moment, tuning in with the rhythm of the breath. Taking a moment in gratitude for this practice, for this community we have together and offering a wish of loving kindness to yourself, reminding ourselves that we are resilient, we are strong. This is a hard time, but we can get through it. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe, may you be strong. Namaste. Thank you.